My name's Grant Cardone. This is the Cardone Zone every day, every day, every day. Every I'm gonna show you how to get money a lot cheaper than this. Hey, get yourself in a position to sit in that chair right there. Are you the solution or are you the problem? Yeah, well, we're talking about what does it take? They don't know you and they're not thinking about you. They, they do know you. you and they're not thinking about they you. They forgot you. Yeah. My name's Grant Cardone. You are in the Cardone Zone where I wake you up, I shake you up, I punch you in the face, but mostly, I'm that good uncle. What's happening, Great Cardone? Yeah, what's happening, man? You got a deal or you got a question? Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Jared Glant. Every Thursday, noon East Coast Standard Time, right here in the Cardone Zone, we bring you Young Hustlers. This show was created for people that are out there trying to, to hustle, trying to grind, trying to get their money right, trying to get out into the marketplace with their ideas, their products and services, and prosper. We started this show because uh, about five years ago, Grant and I were, were riding in the car and I said, man, like I've learned so much from you. Got Grant on the mic, on the, on the camera now. We were riding in the car and I said, man, young people need to hear your message about money because you're not stuffy, you're not old, you're not cranky, and you don't lecture people. You tell us, maybe a little cranky, yeah. Uh, you tell us, you tell us what we need to hear, like we need to hear it, like the not like the father we didn't have, but like the uncle that we wish we had, right? So today we're actually going to talk about where to find money. This is a challenge for a lot of people. They get, they get, they get, they they can get a little lost. Dude, you're just such a clown, man. Just always clowning, always clowning. <laughs> so. We want to talk today about where you can find money. And I think for a lot of people, as they go through and they try to figure out their job, their life, the people they're around with, you know, when they get to the point where they finally are like, man, I want that money, the next question that they have to confront is, like, where is it? And for a long time, I was so locked in to my hometown for money. And when you're in the same place for a long time, like born and raised, never really get out much, never really see other things, never really go to other cities. What, what, what starts happening is you start like really insulating yourself from the possibility that is out there. And there's money all over the place. And the more that you're able to get out and, 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 and see it and feel it and touch it, the more that you actually truly understand this. You know, I, I can start by telling you this. I, I know where the money's not the money for you, right? The, the, the money that will actually, you can do something with that will improve your, your condition, right? Uh, the money is not uh, in the bars. I know that the, there, there is money in the bars. It was the, all the money I spent there. But there's no money to be made there. You know, the, it's, it's a place where uh, dollar, dollars go fast, drinks go faster, and bad decisions are made, right? It's also like it's very it's it's very tough to try to figure out, especially like in your younger your your younger years. It's very hard to figure out that balance between like, hey, what's my social life, and you know, uh, I want to hustle and I want to get my money right. And one of the biggest mistakes that I made, and, and and I'm telling you this from a perspective of, you know, I spent from the time I was 20 years old till the time I was 26 spending more time and attention on partying and getting drunk than I did on my money. And if I could have changed that, uh, I would have most certainly, if I, if, if at 20 years old I would have made the decision I want to get my money right and my actions and decisions actually back that up, I probably would have been a millionaire by 25 and not 30. And so I don't want you to make the same mistakes I did. And the first thing that you have to confront is like, dude, you need to know that your social circle right now should be the people that the, the, the people that are supporting that mission, like I, I, I did a, a, a talk to the kid yesterday, he's 16 years old and you know, he's out there doing a podcast, he's got, you know, he's got an audience, he's like building his message, he's trying to, 
trying to spread the good word at 16, man. Like, what a head start, you, you know? So, like, you, you got to understand, like, you, you need to surround yourself with people that are, like, on the same page as you. So, I got a few things that I want to talk about today uh, about where to find money. And this is, this is before you even start thinking about, like, the right job, the right vehicle, the right product, the right service, the right boss. Um, the number one thing you need to know about money is there is more money outside of the town that you live in than the town that you live in. And so, like, the best way that I can explain this is when I went to New York City for the first time, when I went to London for the first time, when I went to Paris for the first time, like, I, when I went to San Francisco or Dallas or Chicago, like, when I started getting out and seeing places, I can't tell you, like, how much more open my eyes were to how massive the world really is. Frank Kern was in here today and, and he was talking about, you know, uh, you know, people have kind of a scarcity mindset and they kind of just get into their own thing and they're afraid to like open up. We were talking about collaborations. He's like, yeah, man, people live in these tight little things and they have literally no idea how massive the marketplace actually is. How many people are actually out there qualified to buy your product that are just waiting for you? Like how many... The, the, what, what he said was, there's more demand in the marketplace than companies can actually deliver. But there's too few companies doing it, and there's too few companies doing it well enough to actually you know, nurture and cultivate that, uh, that demand. So like, the number one thing you can do to find money is to get out of your town. Go see places. Go do things. Uh, like, like Get to different... Uh, go, go, to, go to a concert. Go to a show. Go to a... You know, go to a conference, you know, like we're doing our conference here in Miami. Go, uh, go on a trip. Like you've got to get out to start seeing how massive the possibility actually is. You know, I'm just telling you from personal experience, 21 years, 22 years I lived in the same city. And your, your, your perspective will always be limited to, to what you know if you don't ever get outside of that. And so whether you live in San Diego or you live in Salt Lake City or you live in you know, Nashville, Tennessee, if you never get outside of that and you never see different things or areas or people or places, then, then you really start locking yourself in on, on how much money and how much opportunity and how much possibility there really is. And the more you get out and the more you see, this is what's really exciting. The more you see new places and the more you go new places and you experience new things, like possibilities start opening up. Like you, you start thinking differently. Because like I remember when 150 grand, I was thinking, man, if I can make 150 grand a year, that is like, I'm gonna be rolling. Like 150 grand, I can live, I can do this, I can blah, blah, blah. Like, man, if I could just get to 150 grand. And then I start getting surrounded by people that are making money. I start, I start you know, following Grant. I get hooked up with Grant. I start working for Grant. And I start hearing the conversations he's having. And I'm like, dude, 150 grand, like, how do people live off that? Like, maybe 150 grand a month, right? Like, but not 150 grand a year. Because my eyes were open to possibility. So the very first thing you need to do if you want to look for money is you got to start looking outside of that little town you live in. No matter what town you live in, if you live in New York City, you need to get out of the little town that you're living in so that you can start seeing new people and seeing new opportunity and seeing new possibility and seeing how much freaking money there really is on planet Earth. Because if you know how much there is, you have an idea of it, then you'll have a better shot at getting your fair share. We'll be right back. This is Young Hustlers. I was bored, I was lazy, not doing anything, sleeping, and not doing what I have to do. Grand Cardone changed my life. I want to showcase your success at Growth Conference 3. I promise you it'll change your life. When I met him, my entire life got better. He makes people better. He's a magnifier. It was so empowering, it was so inspirational, and my husband and I will walk away from this, the growth con, changed forever. I would say to you from all over the world, come to the next 10X conference.
Wealth Dynamics believes everyone has the God-given right to own their potential. Most of us don't because we spend 40 hours per week serving the 40-year-to-life sentence, trading our precious time for worthless paper called money. We teach our clients to secure income so you can buy your freedom back and live a life of abundance and prosperity. Wealth Dynamics provides coaching, education, accountability, and community to help you build wealth. Join our coaching program, get educated on Wealth Dynamics University, and begin networking with the Wealth Dynamics Mastermind Group today. To get started, go to WealthDynamics.com. We're back, Young Hustlers, every Thursday, right here, noon, East Coast Standard Time in the Cardone Zone. We're going live, trying to help you get your money right. That's what the show's all about. And you were talking today about where to actually go to find money. And, like, number one thing you got to do is you got to get out of your town. Like, you got to start looking for areas that you're not familiar with, things that are new to you. Because, I mean, dude, like, even going down, I remember I went to this trip, uh, uh, I, I was unemployed at the time. I barely had any money, and somehow I figured out I, you know, gathered up enough money to go to Costa Rica after I graduated from college for like ten days. And uh, we got these cheap flights, and we, you know, stayed three of us, you know, in hotel rooms and, and all this stuff. Um, but I remember even just going down there, like just seeing new things and getting out of my area was such an eye opener for me. And I didn't have the opportunity to go to you know, to Europe or anything like that until, until later on. Um, but man, you just got to get out, like travel, like go see places, go do things because it just opens your eyes to like all of the opportunity and the possibility really uh, of, of what you can actually do. You see so much money, you see places, you know, uh, we were in Italy driving on the Amalfi Coast, seeing all these massive boats and, you know, you're just like, dude, there's just so much money around here, you know, driving through uh, London, we're staying at the hotel in London and they're telling us how the, the building next door, the, you know, the units are selling there for like 70 and $80 million. And you're just like, oh my gosh, like you're looking at this big, huge, massive mall, like the most high end mall probably on the planet. Uh, and talking about the family that owns that mall, Harrods, right? And you know, it's, it, so it's just, it's just crazy because you, you can't have reality on something until you see stuff. And so I think one of the biggest obstacles that people have is their, their idea that money is actually limited and that there's a finite amount of it. And the more you get out of your town and the more you see new things, the more you actually will realize how much freaking money there is. And when you can shift into seeing the abundance rather than the scarcity, that's when things will truly open up for you. The second thing that you need to do if you want to find money is you got to get uncomfortable. Like... Like money will never come to you by doing the things that you're most comfortable doing. You know, it, 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 make, making the cold call was not a comfortable thing for me, but I knew that I was growing as a person. Spending the time instead of going to the club or going out reading a book so that I could like develop myself, that was not a comfortable thing to do because I wanted to go out and I wanted to like have fun and, you know, be young and reckless and and, and, and that, wasn't the hard, that wasn't the easy thing to do. Like, if you want to get healthy, it's not easy to go into the gym and have a trainer work, you know, freaking beat on you, crank on you. My, my guy, Anthony, like, he just, he, I literally hate his guts the entire time during the workout. And, um, but, it, but it pushes me through, right? So, so you have to start thinking of the areas that you're, that you're not comfortable in. Maybe you're not comfortable talking to people. Maybe you're not talk, uh, comfortable making cold calls. Maybe you're not comfortable. Um, maybe you're not comfortable traveling. Maybe you're not comfortable uh, outside of your hometown. Maybe you're not comfortable in large groups of people. Like, you need to start doing more things that expand who you are as, as a person. And you got to know, like, everything that you do that makes you uncomfortable, the things that you're nervous doing. If you could figure out how to improve in those areas, you will become a more effective human being. You will become a more well-rounded person, you know? And so you should just come up with a list. You should know the things that you're most uncomfortable doing. Like I hate going to big networking events, like where it's like this forced networking situation. It's just like, you know, like the chit chat thing. It's just not my deal. And then I end up being a little too like abrupt or too standoffish. And, you know, cause I'm just like, Hey, what's up, man? I'm Jared. I work for Grant Cardone. We do sales training for companies. What do you do? Like, I'm so to the point, like, I'm not like, Hey, how are you? Oh man. Great event. Yeah. Oh, did you see the 10 X flags they have? Oh, that's beautiful. Right? Like, 
it's just not my thing, right? Like I like going in and having like a direct communication that has a purpose. And so like networking events, I hated cold calls. Uh, you know, making a, a cold call to a company face to face would still make me nervous. I'd still be uncomfortable doing it. But what happens is once you identify the things that you're uncomfortable doing, if you all can agree that the things that make you uncomfortable, if you could master them, you, you would be a better person. You'd be a more effective person. If we can all agree with that, then, then what happens is if you know the areas that you're not comfortable, like if you're aware of it, dude, it gives you the opportunity to grow as a person. It stretches your limits. It, it makes you capable of doing more. And if you want to get money, then you need to be capable of doing more things. Like you, if you want more, you have to do more, right? And so, you know, for, for, me, for some people, maybe it's using a computer or trying to figure out how a piece of technology works, you know? Like, uh, tell me, like, your parents that can't still figure out how to use a computer. Like, I know, you, I know some of you have parents out there that, like, struggle to use computers. Tell me that if they couldn't figure that out, they wouldn't be better off. Of course they would be. So you've got to identify these things that make you uncomfortable. The third thing that you need to do if you want to make money if you want to find money, if you want to locate money, is, is you need to get around like-minded people. Because as you're like scouring the earth, right? You've gotten outside of your house. You're, you're doing things that make you uncomfortable. You're going and you're, you're networking with people. What you need to do is you need to find people who like have the same goal and purpose and get connected with these people and stay close with these people, right? Like I remember when, when, when I was selling advertising, and we'd go, we, like, we had a book of business that we managed, but then we'd have these periods where we'd go out and we'd, we'd do like a blitz. And we'd do like, it was like all cold calls. Like two, we'd spend two days out of the week and all we would do is cold call businesses in the, in, the, in the market. And I'd done those blitzes by myself before and, I'm done, and I've done them with somebody else before. And it's so much easier with a partner to do it with, right? Because you have somebody there and you have a common goal and you're like, you feel like there's some community and there's a team and... And, you know, like for, for uh, uh, somebody who, like we, we've got people that worked with us that were freelancers and they'd done their own thing before. And, and they come in and they're like, man, I just want to be a part of a team. Like I want to have people to bounce ideas off of and get support from and, you know, stay creative and pull ideas from. Like, like it, it's, it's, just, it's just better to do things with people that are like-minded. It makes it more fun. It makes it easier. Uh, and, and, and you get more done, right? So you got to find like like-minded people to get around with. Now for you in your area, like I would research networking groups, I would research business groups, I would research, um, you know, jump into one of Grant's Facebook streams and just post like, hey, anybody in here live in, you know, Peoria, Illinois? I don't know. St. Louis, Missouri. You know, like, like our, our, our ambassador group, our, our, our 10X networking group, our um, mentoring program, like, dude, there's, there's 2,000 people in that group, and they're all getting connected. There's, there's people that are in Australia that are 10Xers that have all, like, gotten into a group, found each other, and then they're banging off each other using support, using each other for support, b bouncing ideas off each other. Like, they've created a group down there. Now they have a support mechanism. So now it's, it's not, you know, uh, one person in Melbourne trying to, you know, figure this 10X thing out. Now they got a group of people, right? Like... It just it completely changes things. So, so you've got you've to get out. If you want to find money, you've got to get out of your hometown. Like, go, go someplace. Come to Miami. Come to Miami and just stop by our office. I mean, I, like, just get out. Go someplace you've never been before, you know? Uh, number two, get uncomfortable. Like, get uncomfortable doing things. Like, like you, you, you will never be able to do more if you can't grow. If you, if you can't identify the areas that you're weak in, if you can't identify the areas that, that, that make you uncomfortable, then, then you're going to struggle. Like you've got to be able to identify those things and go out and do them despite that. Successful people aren't successful because they work hard and they do the things they love all the time. It's because they do the things that they love plus they push them, themselves into doing the things that they don't love. So when we come back from the break, I'm going to start taking some callers. This is Young Hustlers on the Cardone Zone.
how do we start marketing this? Do we scale back? Dude, the dude number one thing you have to do is promote. Doesn't matter if you have a fifty thousand dollar business or a ten million dollar business, it gives you the same attention. After listening to you, I went from zero dollars to almost five million in net worth. I need my profit margin where I need it to be and it's not there. My name's Grant Cardone. This is the Cardone Zone every day, every day, every day, every day. I'm going to show you how to get money a lot cheaper than this. Hey, get yourself in a position to sit in that chair right there. Are you the solution or are you the problem? Yeah, well, we're talking about what does it take? They don't know you and they're not thinking about you. They, they do know you. you and they're not thinking about they you. They forgot you. Yeah. My name's Grant Cardone. You are in the Cardone Zone where I wake you up, I shake you up, I punch you in the face, but mostly I'm that good uncle. What's happening, Grant Cardone? Yeah, what's happening, man? You got a deal or you got a question? Hey, we're back. We're talking about where to, where to find money. It ain't at home, right? Like, if you're not where you're at financially, you got to break the cycle. You got to do something different. You got to get out, right? You got to get uncomfortable. You got to get around like-minded people. You, you've got to do those things if you want to identify and feel how much possibility there really is out there. Number two, you need to get uncomfortable so that you can actually push the limits of what you're capable of. And number three, you've got to get around like-minded people who can help support you in your mission because when you're doing uncomfortable things, it's very easy to quit, right? When I'm working out and I'm like, I'm doing something that's uncomfortable, if I didn't have Anthony there barking in my face, I would stop. I would not push myself that hard. I would quit without a doubt 100% for sure. So you got to have people around you. He's like-minded. He wants me to do better. Grant wants me to do better. So when I'm like, like, he sets these crazy-ass goals and targets, like, dude, if I was a solopreneur on my own, I'm like, all right, let's back that target off a little bit. If I was by myself, if I didn't have that support, but he's like, ah, man, let's lean into this. I'm like, yeah, let's do this. We can do this. We got this. 35,000, Miami, let's go, right? So you've got you've to provide the, the network of people. It, it, it will change everything for you. Um, if you've never been to a business conference before, come to the 10X Growth Conference. Like, like if you're one of those people that is, has been following Grant for a while online, you know, you see his stuff, you use it, you like it, but you've never been to a business conference before, like this is the perfect conference for you to attend because it's not your traditional stuffy, sticky uh, seminars, workshops. This literally is going to be like a rock star show. We're bringing in entrepreneurs who have gone from zero to billions in sales. We have people that have influenced millions of lives all around the world. People who have been all around, people that have been exactly where you're at right now. Right? We're bringing them all together in one spot. If if you wanted to spend there if you wanted to spend 100 grand, there is no place that you could go where you could see John Maxwell, Steve Harvey, Damon John, Ty Lopez, Bethany Frankel, Sarah Blakely, Jesse Isler, Russell Brunson, Ryan Dice. There's no place you could go and get access to those people, even for a hundred grand. We spent 10 million to make it happen. And because we spent 10 million to make it happen, all you have to do is pay a tiny little piece Tiny little piece. If you want to sit up front, you want to meet all the speakers, you want to get pictures with everybody that's speaking, it'll cost you 15 grand. You can't spend 15 grand and get that done anywhere. You can't spend 100 grand and get that done anywhere. You know, if you just want to get into the ring, we have seats available right now for uh, the executive tickets are uh, two for 495. Bring a friend, get out of your town, get uncomfortable, get around like-minded people. Like, this is what this event is about. This event is about facilitating a place and an environment for you to go and check off all these boxes so that you can start getting your money right because it's not going to happen if you don't change something, if you don't get outside of your little comfort zone, your little box, and you don't force yourself to do the thing that, like, you've been, you have been holding back. 
Like you have been holding yourself back because you haven't been networking. You haven't been going places. Like, dude, who wants to be anywhere in February except Miami? Like, unless you're in Southern California, there is no place else in the country that will have better weather than Miami. I grew up in Southern California and it's warmer here in the winter than it is over there. It'll be 82 degrees. You'll be able to go to the beach. My in-laws were just here from Philly, dude. They're getting snowstorms. They come down here, it's 80 degrees. It's like you're in a different planet, mm -hmm. right? That's what this event's about. This event is about getting you around like-minded people. It's giving you a place to go to. For a lot of people, that, like coming to a conference like this, this will be the first time they've done this. We're doing 30,000 people, 35,000 people, right? A lot of people are going to be in your same boat. Right? They've never made the jump before. This is the first time they've ever come to a big conference. So there's going to be so many people that are in the same boat as you. All you have to do is make the decision that now you're going to start chasing the money. Now you're going to be willing to get out and go places. Dude, I remember like I had never, ever been on a plane to do a deal before. Every deal I had done, every sale I had ever made had been in my hometown you know, I'd call, call on some businesses in the area. People would come in to see me when I worked in retail. Like, I had never flown anywhere to go do a deal. I remember the first time I flew on a plane to go pitch a deal. It was so surreal to me. I was like, wow, I'm actually going out and chasing a deal. Like, if you haven't ever experienced these things before, like, I'm telling you, you're... you're your capacity to understand how much opportunity is actually out in the marketplace is like massively compressed. Like it's tiny. Like I, I don't know when I when I'm on a plane and I'm flying to go do, do go do meetings or go pitch deals or go whatever. Like I just feel like I'm getting closer to prosperity. Like ah, when I wake up at four o'clock in the morning and I go to the airport, like in, on the way to the airport, no matter how tired I am, I'm always like. Dude, I'm chasing my money right now. Like, I'm literally, I'm getting on a plane to go chase money. It's such a good reinforcement because it, it, it's like, dude, there are people that are not willing to get out of their own hometown to go do better. Like, there are people that wouldn't be like, man, I'm not going to go spend 500 bucks on a plane ticket and go to a city that I don't know. Like, I can't do that. Like, says who? This is what happens. The people that are doing big things, like, they are out chasing the money. So if you want to know where to find money, dude, number one thing you got to do is you got to get out of your town. Number two thing you got to do is you got to get freaking uncomfortable. Number three thing you got to do is you got to surround yourself with like-minded people because when you do all three of those things, you're going to start making it rain, baby. You're going to start making it rain. Let's go to some callers. All right. We've got Majin in California. Who? Majin. Majin? Yo, yo. Yo, yo. What's going on? Can Yeah. Hey, what's going on? I don't have a networking question. What I have is a story okay. about how I got fired from a hundred thousand plus a month job. It was a sales job here in California. I'm not going to tell you who it was with, but yeah, you're talking about networking. You're talking about people. You're talking about, and, and I think, I think, I think it had to do a lot with people. Um, I mean, I'm, I'm not down, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm okay. I'm, I'm, you know, planning my next steps, but people, um, I think some people just, they rub along with, with other people the wrong way. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe I'm just a little too obsessed. You get me? Yeah, no, I get it, dude. Like, you, you know, so, so you have to confront a few things. Like, like when you really start cranking on this, like a, a lot of people take 10 X or like be the be obsessed thing. Like they take that and, and they don't, they don't combine it with skill they don't combine it with professionalism. If you were making a hundred grand yeah, a year, okay. you're 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 doing all this stuff. Um, like you can't you can't be you can't be unprofessional and make that kind of money. Like and make it work. Church's charity. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So, um, so I got I got um I might have another try at this. So I'm gonna I'm gonna really take. Dude, of all course you have another try, and... man. Like of course you have another try. Like well, every, I'm at the same the same place. Yeah. Well, dude, I'll tell you, like, if you want to get connected with people like that, that are trying to do better and do more, then you got to get to Miami in February because we're bringing 35,000 people and every single one of the people that will be in that arena are there because they want to do better. Yeah. They want hey, to hey, do hey, better. Let me ask you a question. Grant here, your Uncle G. 
All right. In the last 30 days, where have you gone to network? Say it again. Where have you gone to network in the last 30 days? In the last 30 days, um, I started a week and a half ago with this job, right? They had a party on Monday. Um, How many people were at the party? I, you know, about 100. Okay, good. Okay, but for, okay, so we have 30 days in the month of, 30, just take the last 30 days from October, November to, to right now, whatever the date is. How many times have you been to church? Zero. Charity events? Zero. Country clubs? Zero. Bank meetings? Say again? Bank meetings, bank meetings. Chamber of Commerce? Bank meetings, zero. Uh, seminars? Zero. Uh, conferences? Zero. How much money is in your bank? Zero. There you go, bro. Your I network you. is your net worth, son. Go borrow money. I God damn it, go borrow money. What are you guys thinking about, man? You're wasting, you're wasting time. Okay? Go work for a company. Jared said, I'm going to go work with Grant because Grant's connected. Ryan Secco, I'm going to go work for Grant because yeah. Grant's connected. All these bullshit memes you guys see on Instagram, oh, I'm working for the man so he can buy a Lambo. You know that one about the boss drives up yeah, in his yeah, Lambo. Yeah. Oh, nice car. And the boss says, yeah, well, I'll get another one if you just get in there and work your ass off. That's all bullshit, guys. You guys need to find somebody that's working hard, that's driving a big car, that has a plane. And that's willing to invest in a company to make the company bigger. So it, you need to figure out, dude, you, need to, you, you guys need to join two and three churches. You ought to have like three religions going at the same uh, time. Be Baptist, be... You need to go where people gather. So, and, and then Saturday, Friday, Friday through Sunday, you need to figure out what else you're going to do other than strip joints and, and bars. Like me and Jared stay so busy. Yeah. We're working so much. That, that we're, we're like, we don't have time for, to waste time. Yeah. And the only time we go to Vegas is when we have a conference to go to Vegas. That's and right. we're going to meet with customers. So if you guys are tired of freaking baby money. And we're I, in I, and out, too. Like, in and out. Yeah. So you guys need to gather. Make a list of where you can gather. Churches, charities, fundraisers, country clubs. What, what do we pay for the country club right here? 50 grand. 50 grand, dude. Yeah. 50 grand. I invested $50,000 plus I got to pay. paid 65. I paid 50. Yeah. I got to pay fees every month in hopes, in hopes, in hopes that I meet somebody in the next 12 months that helps me. Well, guess what? Me crossing my fingers and hoping at least I got a chance. The dude I was just talking to has freaking zero chance of changing his life. Mm -hmm. And this is what your parents didn't tell you. Your parents stayed home. You know, your parents stayed mm -hmm. with the church they went to. They did the same things over and over that they were comfortable doing. No, I want to kneel next okay. to you, dog, because I believe in you, cool, man. man. Cool. You, your parents didn't try new things, didn't go new places. You guys got to go new places. You got to try new things. You got to meet new people. And if you got to leverage money to do that, right, this plane gave me access to new environments. You can, you, can, you, can, you can walk in as the little guy or you can walk in as the big guy. It's how much courage do you have? I fly in now, dude. They're like, ah, oh, who's that, man? I flew into damn, we flew into Wales. Were you with us when we went no. to Wales? Lord Sugar, the most successful, second to maybe Richard Branson in the UK. I flew in and his plane was on the ground. His entire crew was in. See, that's what I mean. I'm not bragging. I'm saying, look, you guys can do this too. Spend money, borrow money to get access to money. Get around right people. Get you, uncomfortable. Get out of your town. Yeah, We're holding this conference. Mm -hmm. You guys don't need to wait until February 1st to network with that group of people. Get your seat and start telling people you're coming. Join the Facebook group. Join the 10X groups out there. They're all over. Tens of thousands of people are coming to this event. They're good people. Okay, there's a wacko or two in the group. But, but for the most part, man, at least, at least we get, got get people, go where people gather to do great things. Mm -hmm. And I'm not, I'm not kidding on the church thing. You guys need to find a church to show up to. Mm -hmm. where, because people go there for improvement. Yeah. Find a conference. Go to the Wealth Expo. Go to the, mm -hmm. the resource, uh, the... 
What, what are all the different NAC conferences? Conference, yeah. NAC conference. Marketing conferences. The Bible says where two or more gather, miracles will take place. I believe that, dude. Me and Jared, let's pray together, Jared. Jared, I pray, God, please help us. Seriously, I'm serious about this. Help us, whatever higher power that you believe in, help us connect with the right people in 2019. You, you have to close your eyes when you pray. Help us, help us connect. Help us see the right people as they come into our lives. Put us in the right places in 2019. Amen. Dude, when Amen two, or, two or more come together, bruh, you got soft hands, too. Thanks, man. When two or more, where two or more gather, where two or more gather, people's lives improve. Work with my brain, not my back. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's talk to another, another guy. I pop in here. By the way, we're looking for people to interview on the Young Hustlers show. Did you talk to about the Young Hustlers? We're so, so basically, so what we're doing with this show now is uh, Grant's going to come in and he's going to have his monthly mentoring session where he's going to come into the show and we're going to talk about something specific that's going to help you make more money or do better. But what we want to do is we also want to bring in you, young you, hustlers, you, you, you guys. people who are out there actually cranking, people that are, are successful, people. are successful. They follow Grant. They've used his material, but but they're they're the people that you wouldn't expect to be winning. They're the 21, 22, 23 year olds that are out there cranking, doing big things. They got a oh, Shopify oh, oh, oh. store. They're doing this. Yeah. They're doing or, that. Or like, maybe it's a 50 year old guy that's starting to act. He got his game back on. He's starting to act like he's 20. Like it, it's not an age thing, even though we yeah. know most of our viewers here are young. So you guys that are doing network marketing, sales, e-commerce, whatever you're doing, you want to come in here? Send something to who? Send something, uh, DM me. But DM don't, don't, me on don't, Instagram. Yeah, yeah. When you come here, I mean, I need to hear you talking about what's working and not yeah. working and maybe work with Jared. And then, then I'll pop on here from time to time like I'm doing right now. I just knee up on Jared. Yeah, yeah. Those people that pray together stay together. That's right. What's going on, Nick? What's going on, fellas? Yo, yo, yo. What's happening, man? Oh, what's happening with you, Oh, dog? my God. G-O-M-G. I can't believe I'm talking to the man, the myth, the legend. Jared Glenn. <laughs> <laughs> that sounded like Sean Bradley. That's who I thought that was. In the future, in my past. In other words, it was the future you. I just met you in Vegas a couple weeks back. I went to yeah, Jared's a cool dude, man. Thank you. I appreciate it. You rubbed off on me a lot, and you, you really encouraged me to go I didn't rub you off. Real me, because guess what? Trying to conform to society got me nowhere. Three-time college loser, baby. Yeah, Life yeah, yeah. What's your question, man? What's your question, man? You got a lot of rip and snap. Right, so, What's your question? So I think you guys were kind of covering it. Like, now that I'm trying to do my team building phase and mm. learning more, I mean, I got you out there. A lot of other great influencers, and, and you definitely had the right idea of being a little bit more narrow and not listening to everybody. You got to focus on one thing at a time, right? But I'm trying to do the team building thing, uh, churches, charity events, all that. You know, that's, that's a great idea. What else you got? What else you got? Facebook, social? Dude, dude, I, I was wow. in a, I went there's to. trolls uh, out there. Okay. <laughs> I went out there. Yeah, so what? There's trolls. You know why they're trolling you? Because you ain't moving fast enough. Ooh! Shit, fucking trolls can't keep up with me. Their little legs so short. They're freaking, they're so negative and so skeptical. They can't keep up with me. They're like, oh, he rolling in the rolls. Yeah, and I'm gone. Bang. Because I'm going to the next thing. On to the next thing. So, like, I, uh, 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 Monday, you guys got to jam shit into your calendar, man. Yeah. Okay, the devil catches you guys because you go into, you, you slow down and go into doubt and start questioning everything. Ryan Seckle calls me the night. Hey, man, we got this thing we could do tomorrow morning. Okay, I'll do it. 1,500 people there. Yeah. My, my decision was not made based on what I had going on. It was based on the opportunity to go network with great people. The answer's always yes if there's expansion. This is what I was telling Kern today. Mm -hmm. so, dude, you misread that step. Yeah. Dude. You guys get a chance to be with 10,000 people? You don't say no to that. You figure out how the hell to do that. That's just dumb. Like 10,000 people in one room talking about the same thing? You are crazy. 30,000 people. But I mean, I had a smart dude, was invited, and didn't show. I'm like, that's stupid, dude. Okay. Oh, yeah, well, I got my little business, and I got my business. And dude, you don't chase a dollar, man. You got to stop. You go into a fire, man, and you got barking dogs. You don't stop. So, so, so I had barking dogs Monday, barking dogs. I had a commitment at nine. I had another one at 1030. I had an interview with so-and-so. Yeah. I had all these things I had to do, right? And then 
I got 1,500 people, man, last minute, 1,500 people that want me to talk about what I'm doing with real estate. I'm like, shit, we're going to it. Yeah. Jared, Jared was out. We had to figure out a whole bunch of things that day. Do you move to the opportunity? Move to the opportunity, right? So you guys need to be looking in your local area. What are the community events? What's it cost to get in? How much do you need to pay to get on the front row? Dude, even go work. Go, go take your laptop and go to like a Four Seasons hotel. And they usually have like little nice setups there. Go do some work there. Like better to do it there than freaking Starbucks. Because there you might actually meet somebody that's a player, you know? But then that requires you to, number one, get out of your house. Number two, do something uncomfortable, which is talk to somebody yeah. that you don't know. And but you're not going to learn that from home. Yeah. The TV does not require interaction, okay? FaceTime and Instagram are freaking machinery that you guys are watching. You're not going to get rich on Facebook and Instagram. You've got to go out. So you got to go out to look, go Just up. pull up. Go to Miami. Miami, uh, business events in Miami in December. And the, other, the only problem with you guys going to the Four Seasons than hanging out there, like, I mean, dude, you know, dude, that's not you, weird. you ain't going to be able to keep going. You ain't going to be able to keep going back. You ain't, you're not going to be able to keep. Okay, here's a small business expo, 2019 at the James Knight Center. I'm going to that. The VMSA Live Summit, 2019. Boom. 2200 by the the tickets are $2299. $2299. Here's one that's free. Okay, here's a free one. Healthcare Career Summit. Why wouldn't I go to a healthcare career summit? Well, because I'm an accountant. Yeah. And everybody that you do business with as an accountant probably is concerned about their health care. Okay, charity events. You guys should go to these charity events and give money, man. Buy a damn table. So what is five grand? You could be, for $5,000, you could be the number one most charitable person in the room. You guys will borrow money for all kind of bullshit. A car. That's right. I can give five grand. When we moved to Miami, there was a guy I was trying to do business with, and I found out what his number one charity was, and I called him and said, dude, I want to help your charity. I got money, and I got energy. Which one you want? I want them both. And then we signed a million, what, what, how big was that contract? A million dollar, yeah. A million. million dollar contract. Well, Gave we've me. done it twice, so 1.3, 1. 1. 1.4 million. So, so, so you don't have to give somebody 50 grand or 100 grand, but can you give them 500? Can you give them 100? Can you give them no money and some energy and say, I'll help out, pa pass out pamphlets? Mm -hmm. Make a commitment to your network so that you go into 2019 like freaking blowing up, like t massive expansion, like a comet. Like a meteor. Okay, now... Is what's there a difference between a comet and a meteor? I think so. A comet is ice? I think so. Johnny, you don't know what you're talking I about, I think man. so. I think there is a difference. But I'd like to be both if I could yeah, be. I so, so look, check it out. Check it out. You guys, grab, go, to grant, uh, go to 10xgrowthcon.com forward slash VIP. 10xgrowthcon.com forward slash VIP. Single women, get a damn seat on the field with the ballers. Yeah. Don't be stupid. Go get you, go get, go, go hang out with, I know you guys, some of you guys are going to piss on me about this. Go hang out in environments where there's good dudes trying to get their money right. Men, get you a seat on the field to be around other people that are moving and shaking. This is your chance to set an example for yourself in 2019. Lastly, and I'm going to turn it back over to Jared. How you guys end the year is how you're going to start the year. That's right. You slow down right now, you walk into 2019 like a little, little, little handicap. Dang. You speed up right now, you press and accelerate, you fly into this new window called 2019 with speed and acceleration and momentum. I just told my sales guys in the back that, do you guys need to press right now? Do not get seduced. What else you got? Vince? Yeah. Okay. Do uh, not. Cohort 8. Cohort 8. Latin Celebration. American I wonder client. what that is. I uh, need Enterprise some. Unplugged. Yeah. Uh, 40th Angel. Law Update. Bar Association. Lawyers, man. They got money. Publish Her. Oh, Her that's. Place. I think Elena was in that. Yeah. So anyway, you guys got to look. Commercial real estate outlook. For things to go to. Then you have to extrovert. It's cheap too. Like 50 bucks. $55 to go to this deal. And you can walk in and just say, guys, I'm here to network. Okay. Hey, hey. Call me out. I'm here to hook up, man. That's when you go take them through the fundamentals of selling.
Hey, my name is Grant. I work here in town. The reason I'm here is to network. My intention is to network. My intention is to find people that I can help your business. Mm. Because if I help your business, I know you're going to help my business. Mm. I got to get off my damn knees. I got to go network to improve my network. So so you got to get out. Get out of the room. Uh, uh, like and think of things that you can create, like 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 to bring people together for, uh, together. The convent, the conference we're doing, bring, we created that. Whatever seat you buy, four ninety five, fifteen grand, seven grand, three grand, whatever seat yeah. you buy, whatever it costs you to come to Miami, it's going to cost you less than it cost me. Yeah, that's a fact. Tell them what I spent. Ten million. Ten what million. what is just security on the event cost? Do you uh, know. S- I think it was 180 grand, something like that. Just, just so that the, the place is safe, right? Um, video, the video and audio. Can you show it, Johnny? Can the you show stage, me these images? The stage, show them the snapping thing you do. The stage was four million dollars. Show, show the them stage. all that. Show them all that while you're here. Okay. Well, can See, we play that on what the you're doing is you're creating video? events. You're Francisco. creating events. You guys need to think about creating events that bring attention to you and your brand. And they bring people together. I talk about this, and if you're not first or last, I talk about it again in the 10X rule. I talk about it more in the Be Obsessed or Be Average. Build a fire so hot that people don't just want to sit by it. Dude, they want to stare at it. They are mesmerized by it and tell people about it. Wow. Jared Glant, my buddy right here, me and him, we blowing up, Ah. man. Okay. Yeah, our license agreement. Our license agreement is a way to bring people together. It's yep. 25 grand, dude. You now can use my name. Start a business. Start a business. Start a second Making business. Some of that money. Okay. I'm so you're going to have to do more than what Gary V and me are doing online. You guys, I know a lot of you think, oh, I'm just going to become an influencer. You're going to go broke. You're going to go broke. I know so many influencers right now that barely have a pot to piss in. People that have a lot of followers too, man. Like big audience. Big audience. Millions of people and they're broke. I'm like, where's the money, dog? They become a prostitute to a brand. Okay, so you need a product. You need need money. You guys need money. You need money, which means I need ideas. I need commitment. I need people. I need network. I got to collaborate. That's right. Show it to them, man. Show it to them. Show them what we're doing for you. We're going to give you an easy way to do this. All you got to do is go to the website and reserve your seat. Growth this time. is going to sell out. You reserve your seat. Are you showing it to them, guys, or are we going to take forever? Hey, hey, this needs to be ready for every show between on, now guys. and February 1st, John. Okay? God dang, guys. All roads lead to freedom, baby. Through Miami. You guys, are, okay, look at this. Watch out, Jared. Wow. But, man, it's a little big, dog. Now, the, 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 video, the video wall is $3 million, just so everybody knows. $3 million. Some of you, some of you, some of you are going to get asked to go on to the stage and get known to 35,000 people. On my Instagram every night, how many nights have I missed, Natalie? Every night between now and the end of the year, I'm going to go on my Instagram channel and invite you into it where 500, 600, 700, 800 people get to meet you. Come in, introduce yourself, where you're living and what your business is, and then I'll introduce you to this audience. You guys got to figure out how to do this. You cannot do this if you just stay in Bulgaria or in Boston or Or in in Austin. Brussels. Or in Brussels. Or in Anchorage. You know, you got to get out, Okay. All right, guys, so that's it. Where to find the money? You got to get out. You got to do things. You got to be around people. Hey, the only people who condemn the hustle are the ones who've already given up on the hustle themselves. We'll see you next week. How do we start marketing this? Do we scale back? Dude, the dude number one thing you have to do is promote. Doesn't matter if you have a fifty thousand dollar business or a ten million dollar business, it gives you the same attention. After listening to you, I went from zero dollars to almost five million in net worth. I need my profit margin where I need it to be, and it's not there.
let's go check out some seats right now. Welcome to the 10X Growth Conference. VIP level section of seats here for the 10X Growth Conference. These seats are phenomenal. I mean, I'm gonna have a 60 foot high stage, 150 feet wide, so that I could take in the 10X Growth Conference in the best seats in the house. This is gonna be our premier seating down here on the floor down here, where I dreamed as a kid that one day I would sit at catchers at that catcher's mount and throw people out of second base and run the team and control things. This is where we're going to have our 10X growth conference event. I told you it'd be big. I can see the entire field, the stadium, I'm a little bit elevated so I have like a downward viewpoint. And check out, you can see the Miami skyline in the back, these seats are sick. be amazing and I expect to see you there. 10X gear and all, 10X uniforms and hats for everyone. All right, so there you have it. That is every seat here that is still available for the 10X Growth Conference. The question is, do you have yours? You won't want to miss this event. 35,000 people from around the world, over 50 countries have represented here, the top experts and speakers in the world, sharing about their stories of entrepreneurship, how to grow a business, how to scale a business, the latest and greatest in business strategy, how to get your money right, how to invest in real estate, and most important, how to live a fulfilled life. It's all happening here in February. You gotta be here. There's no other event in the world that you should go to. You need to be here. You deserve being here. I promise you. This event will change your life. If you want the things in life that you deserve, then you have to take action, and now is one of those times. Select from the seats below, and we'll see you in February at the 10X Growth Conference.